happy Wednesday. Well, today we are taking those shutters that I purchased from AC Moore and we're gonna do a little coastal wall arrangement with them. So as you will see coming up, I, I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and I grabbed some hooks. They were not on sale, unfortunately, boo, but I got them nonetheless because I just wanted to get my project done. And I brought them home. I screwed them into my shutters and did a cute little beachy coastal wall arrangement. Super simple, super simple. So that's what this video is today. So join me and let's get to decorating the wall in the beachy vibe. Let's do this. And before we begin, I always do this. Can't help it. Anyway, I just wanna emphasize that you can go buy, go buy yourself some shutters or whatever. Make them your own. And that is, that's the fun thing about creating you're your you are your own artist you're you're creating your own work you know so wall art wall art is art let's do this let's create some wall art you can go to hobby lobby michaels ac Moore, wherever it is that you shop and say you find a shutter you may stand back and look at it and go what's up with all these guys and gals buying these shutters and putting them on their wall yawn boring I've thought that myself, but when I stand back and go, how can I make that shutter unique? How can I make it my own, my own vision? That's the exciting part because it doesn't have to be boring. You can hang a wreath, you can hang a sign, you can swag garland from it. You can add two shutters, you can put them on hinges and put them on, on either side of an old window. Make it your own piece of art, right? And so that's what we're gonna do. Decorating to me is art. It's it's your own vision. I have to say, us gals and, and, and guys that like to decorate, we are artists in our own way. Aren't we? Aren't we all? Anyway, with that said, without further ado, let's go create some wall art. Let's do this. Okay guys, I have this area in my sunroom and as you can see, I've got a door over there, but I don't have anything over here. And my plan was to put the matching door caddy corner in this area, but I don't know if I wanna do that. I might wanna do something different. So this leads me to my next project. Sorry to swing you around. Um, these are the two shutters that I got from AC Moore, I think they were like 50% off. And uh, anyway, I ran over to Hobby Lobby today and I just got these hooks. They were not on sale, but they were pretty inexpensive. And so I've got plans for these shutters and these hooks. Stay tuned. My goal is to bring a beachy, tropical vibe to these shutters. So anyway, Let's get started, shall we? This will be interesting, guys. Let's see what I do. Okay, so I just leaned this shutter up against something so I could kind of show you what I'm planning to do. Um, anyway, I am going to take this and I'm going to screw it into the shutter like that. If you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to hang a candle like lantern from it. That, that brings the beachy vibe to the house. And then we'll talk about what I'm gonna do with this one. This, one. this one's gonna be cute too. So this is how I plan to screw it in. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting. I hope I don't split the wood. All right, I ran into a problem. I went through my screw stash and all my knee screws, the problem is they're silver and I didn't wanna run out and get a new one. So I have this little like furniture marker. And so I'm just coloring it black. Easy peasy. And then I don't have to run out and buy a screw that is black or brown or bronze or whatever this color is. Done, done. Gotta improvise when you can guys along the way. See, I had a bunch of these screws, but huh, you can see they're too tall, too big. 
They would have been perfect had they been a little shorter. But anyways, this works. And then coming over here, I have, I have more of those little ones, which will work. So I'm just gonna color them in. It'll work. Done. Done. Let's split the wood. I knew that was gonna happen, but I don't really care because I'm going for the beachy vibe. Rustic, weathered, you know? And it, I didn't really need it to hold it on there anyway, I, but I just didn't want to leave it without screws. So that's, that's why I did it. But uh, anyway, I might fill in with a little wood putty or I'll just leave it. I'll pro you know what? I'm just going to leave it. I'm lazy. Done. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this shutter as well. So they'll match, but I'm going to hang them at different heights and you'll see what I'm going to do. My screws didn't crack the wood on this one. Lesson learned. I did find some smaller ones. So yay. Anyway, lesson learned. Lesson learned. It's okay though. It's going to work. It's going to work out. So my goal is to hang them on the wall kind of in this fashion. So one is higher, one is lower. We'll see how this works out. But uh, I'm going to go get my screws uh, and I'm going to hang these shutters. Okay, so the lighting's a little bit bad, but you can see the doors over there, and I've got one little shutter hung. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hang the other one a little higher. Okay, guys, this is the final look. I think it looks really cute. I wish the shutters had been a tad bigger, but you know what? It makes a cute uh, statement on this wall. And then if you go over here, you know, the circular life preserver mixed with that life pre preserver kind of works. So I think it looks cute even though I don't have a door on this side. I think it adds balance and uh, character. Seriously, how cute is that life preserver? Love it. And I got this lantern from Amazon and I bought two and I absolutely love it. And I plopped uh, some there it's an led candle but for some reason uh it goes forever and ever i rarely have to replace the battery so i'm just gonna let this go all day and all night until the batteries go because i love it that much okay guys i just got this yesterday at burlington coat factory i think it's adorable and i kind of want to hang it on the wall above those shutters so i looked on the back and i said well boo hoo there are no hangers. What to do, what to do. So I went down to my storage room and I found a picture that I'm not using and it has a bunch of hangers on it. So I'm just gonna take these off and use them on the relax sign. And we're gonna hang this on the wall. So I've decided to put one hanger there and one hanger there. And then let's hang it on the wall. Okay, I had to use different screws. Those, those screws were so tiny, I would have had to pre-drill. They just would not go in, so I used my bigger screws because I had uh, the width and the length to do so. And they're in there so good and tight, I'm not putting a second screw in each one. So anyway, let's go hang it. I think it's cute. I love it. And I put a starfish up there and then over here too. Now you guys know I'm no minimalist by any stretch. I love my stuff. I love, I love arrangements pretty much everywhere I look. I know it's terrible. So when I sit here, I don't have to go, the wall behind me is boring, it's boring. I can now say it's cute. It's cute. All right, it's later in the afternoon. It was driving me nuts. I was like, this vignette, 
wall vignette is missing something. So I got my glasses on. I like to call them my thinking glasses. And I got a really good look and added this. I think it's super cute. Love it. It's tying in the, the tans, picking up a little bit of the cream or white. Love it. Okay, this is what I did. I think it's pretty cute. And then going over here, I added a clock next to this. I think it's cute, guys. I'm loving it. I'm almost thinking of adding one more thing, perhaps a shelf below. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sit on this one, but I think it's okay, cute. Okay, guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my simple wall art, but you know, it was kind of fun to add some hooks to it. It gives it visual interest. Adding the little life preserver gives it a cute beachy feel. Adding the relax sign is a good reminder that we all need to relax. And, uh, and then the lantern, of course, it just adds that ambiance, that ambiance that I so love in my decor by adding candles and lanterns and, and lamps. It brings the cozy factor. So when it gets nighttime, I'm going to take some pictures and I'll insert them probably in my next video so you can see. But anyway, I think it really, it, it, it ended up being simple but cute and it balances out the door on the other side. And uh, yeah, I like it. What can I say? Simple, cute, and done. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and what is coming up on, can't even talk today. What's coming up on Friday is probably, let's see. We did a project last night and I did video footage of it. It's what all the cool kids are doing, guys. All the cool kids. Stay tuned for that. If you've got grandkids or kids, teenagers specifically, or if you've got a home theater or TV room, this would be perfect. Perfect in that. And I will be linking all those products in that video in my Amazon store on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned because it's, it's pretty darn cool, especially if you're into techie stuff. Stay tuned. Sending you my love.